Ladies and gentlemen, Alex De Jong. Alex De Jong. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow friends, and of course, Vera. As we say in France, fantastique, but as I say in England, that was jolly good. <laughs> <laughs> you are a natural comedian. I loved you on stage. Your speech was so good that outside it left me speechless. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. I'm going to say three things that I really loved about your speech and then I'm going to give you three areas I personally think you can improve. Firstly, your opening. You said that you have a secret method explained. Enormous rewards, this drew me in. I really wanted to know more. It had me on the edge of my seat. It, gave, it showed that you had a clear message. It showed that you had focus and it showed that you knew where you were going to it. Your opening structured your speech and captured my attention and my heart. Well done. Secondly, your humour. As Aristotle said, there are three ways to deliver a good speech. The three pillars of public speaking are pathos, ethos, and logos. Pathos is the use of emotion, emotional appeal to the audience. And you manage to connect us emotionally by making us laugh. They say that the shortest distance between two people is through a laugh. You had me laughing, and I'm sure you had every single other person laughing in the audience. You're a comedian, well done. I really think that you should own your comedic talents and you should try taking it to the next level. Perhaps even try doing some stand-up, because that's the next level. Personally, for me, I do stand-up comedy, and you are definitely funnier than me, so I would definitely... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Personally, I would definitely recommend it. And the third thing that I loved about your speech is your pauses. Often in speaking, you get so excited on stage, you have so much energy that we forget to pause. We speak too fast and we speak really fast, and then we lose the audience, but you didn't have that problem. You had very powerful pauses, you stopped. You had the time to um, retain yourself, you had the time to take a deep breath, and that's good. I really like pauses, because as I say, the music happens between the notes, good speech, as John Zimmer says, happens between the pauses. I love your pauses. Now, three areas I think you can improve on to make your hilarious speech even better. I mean, your stillness on stage. Being still is good. You are still in the centre of the stage in the same spot throughout. I liked your stillness. However, I would like to see you use more of the stage. Perhaps when you're introducing a new character, when you're speaking in a French accent, you can move to one part of the stage. Or perhaps if you're again, making a new point, you can move around. Psychologists say that when we move around the stage, then our, the audience's eyes travel with us and it stops them from getting bored. They keep them focused. The second thing that I think can improve on is it could be more grounded in your energy. You were still quite a lot, but I was looking at your feet and I could tell that you kind of maybe wanted to move a bit. You didn't really seem too grounded. So in speaking, try and stay grounded. That means you can come on the stage. The final thing, you have energy. I loved your energy on stage. But you can't keep the laughter consistent all the time. You have to have highs and lows in speaking. So try having more highs at the end. So in summation, I loved your speech. It was hilarious. Fantastic. Great use of humour, but more energy, stay grounded, come on the stage, and try and move around a lot more. Thank you, Alex. Take a moment of silence for the judge.